recording. Good morning. Welcome to our December Rising Star Student of the Month. I am so incredibly happy to have you here with us today. Um, I want to just uh, mention that um, we have a mission statement for this program, and the mission is to bring our community together to honor our local high school seniors for demonstrating character, integrity, love of learning, involvement in school, and community activities or the ability to overcome challenging life circumstances without compromising their education. The core of the Rising Star of the Month is the student who makes a difference in their home, school, and community with sincerity and passion. And next up, we are going to hear from Mission Vista High School. Uh, Mr. Walden, please introduce your student. Excellent. Well, thank you, Rachel. Um, it's an honor to be here. And like uh, others have said before, before me, uh, this is absolutely the best Friday of the month uh, to be able to recognize and, and honor our students. Um, thank you to Rachel, Kathy, and Kent, your team, for your dedication to this event and just finding a way to make it happen um, under these circumstances. And, and of course, congratulations to all of the rising stars this month. Um, you are all truly in rarefied air, and you all represent the best aspects of each of your respective school communities. So congratulations to you all. Um, I have the privilege to introduce the rising star for Mission Vista this month, uh, Kolpreet Chokar. Uh, Kolpreet is an amazing young woman. Uh, she, she's a great student, has an unbelievable work ethic, and she's about as humble a person as you're ever gonna meet. Uh, but what sets her apart in my eyes is her sense of resilience, especially in the face of adversity and the courage that she's shown to not let that adversity stand in the way of achieving what it is that she has set out for herself. Uh, and so with that, I'll, I'll introduce Colpreet. Uh, her mother is joining her and her nominating teacher, Mrs. Rosen. And Colpreet, I'll pass it off to you. All right. Um... Hi everyone, my name is Colby Shakar and today with me I have my mom. I believe my greatest contribution comes from the club I'm involved in, which is HOSA, Health Occupation Students of America. I've been a part of this club since I was a freshman and I've participated in club events such as our club fundraisers, club carnival, and our biannual HOSA blood drives. One of my biggest lessons that I've learned and will take to college with me is um, taking charge of being my own, taking charge of my own learning. And with the topic of college, I have applied to um, eight possible universities, but I want to go to UC Irvine or UC Riverside because both guarantee me um, being able to major in biology. And in the future, I want to be a pediatrician. And so far, besides going to school, I have been a part of my community, but I also have been with my mom, working at her restaurant, taking care of what we need to. And I'm always, happy to be there because I'm learning so many skills that I will also take with me to college. And I would like to thank um, our Vista Neighbor of Converse, all, their, all of our sponsors, Mr. Walden, Ms. Rosen, and my mom for being here today. And congratulations to all of the other rising stars. Back to you. Okay, thank you, Colpreet. And uh, next we'll hear from Mrs. Rosen. Hi, I'm Dara Rosen, um, and I have the honor of being Colpreet's biomedical science teacher and HOSA advisor. Um, thank you for having me today and giving me the opportunity um, to share a little bit about this amazing student. Um, I first met Colpreet as a freshman. Um, she came in my classroom to introduce herself. I, she was not in my class, um, but I had taught her older brothers and sister. So she introduced herself and um, she would update me about Karen Deep and Mandeep who had already graduated from Mission Vista. Um, I thought it was really brave of a freshman to come um, and talk to a teacher that she doesn't really know. Um, but she would come in periodically and just say hi and give me updates. Um, super friendly, beautiful smile. And it was always a joy to see her. Um, she became involved with HOSA. Um, I'm the advisor for um, a club that is, um, it's about becoming a health professional, future health professionals. And um, she increased her involvement in HOSA. Um, 
her junior year was when she finally was in my class um, and I got to see her more regularly. And she also became an officer in HOSA. Um, Colpreet takes the challenging schedule. She's um, taking honors and AP classes. She always works hard. She um, is a wonderful group member. She's really a great friend and supportive of her classmates. Um, but what really sets her apart is how hard she works. Um, her family has a restaurant in Vista and Colpreet works in the, fa in the family restaurant every day after school. Um, and not just hanging out in the restaurant, she works the restaurant. She's in charge of um, finances, receiving orders from vendors, um, serving, um, and she also does her homework and studies for tests. She's asked me to print out things for her so she can study while she's at the restaurant. So um, she manages an incredible um, amount of responsibility for someone her age. Um, and never questions it. She just is so hardworking. Um, she, so I mentioned she became an officer. Um, leadership, I'm not sure comes naturally to Colpreet, but she really works hard at it. And um, she really pushes her limits and takes risks. Um, last year, she um, entered contest to design the logo for the HOSA State Leadership Conference. Um, she also did that this year. Um, and, and I'm really proud of her for pushing herself and taking those risks. Um, last year, her dad had cancer and Colpreet took care of him daily after school. Um, and, and it was incredibly hard um, and she would, tell me updates and give me updates um, up until he went into hospice um, and he passed in January. Um, the day after he passed, Colpreet came to a field trip with me um, and shared with me what had just happened. And I was amazed um, and just surprised and, and overwhelmed with love for Colpreet. Um, you know, her mom encouraged her to come and not miss out on the field trip opportunity. Um, and she supported her family um, and continued to work hard and push herself through an unimaginable difficult time. Um, and, and last May, when Colpreet started working on her brag sheet, um, preparing for scholarship applications and college applications, you know, working diligently, working hard, she asked me about the question on the brag sheet, overcoming adversity. And she said, what does that mean? Is that like losing my dad? And I cried um, and I'm gonna cry again um, because she has faced an incredible amount of adversity and never once um, faltered. Um, she, she just, pushes through, works hard, and she does it. She gets it done. Um, so I, I admire your strength. I admire your resilience. And I am incredibly proud of the person that you are. And I know that you will meet your goals and you will meet your dreams because there is nothing that is gonna get in your way um, and all in the same time, supporting her family and in being um, an incredible, you know, just having values and, and working hard to meet those goals. So um, congratulations, Colpreet. You deserve to be a rising star um, and best of luck. I can't wait to see what, what you do. Thank you so much um, to the Vista Chamber for having me. Okay. Well done. Thank you, Mrs. Rosen. Um, and, and finally, Colpreet, um, I'll turn it back over to you if your mother would like to say a few words. She's a bit in tears right now after what Ms. Rosen said, but <laughs> I've been listening to her speech all day and she, she's really proud of me. She knows that I'm a hardworking student and she would like to thank everyone for having us today, especially since we know a few people in the Vista Chamber of Commerce, but we haven't reached out to them in a while. But she'd also like to say thank you to you, Mr. Walden and Ms. Rosen. And she'd also like to congratulate everyone who's here today. Wonderful. Well, uh, again, congratulations, Colpreet. You very much deserve this honor for Mission Vista. Uh, congrats to you and to your family. 